Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to fix this update error on Windows. It's very easy to fix. There are a couple of different methods, so I'll try not to skip them. First, in the search, type in settings. On the left hand side, go to system, scroll down until you see troubleshoot. From here, click on other troubleshooters. And from here, you're going to see the Windows update troubleshoot. Run that and see if that fixes the issue. Okay, next, let's try to reset Windows update components. Okay, let's type in CMD into search, right click on command prompt, run as administrator. And there are a couple of different things that we need to do here. I put this into a Notion page so we all have it. Uh, here it is. If I can find it. Okay, first you're going to type in net stop this one, net stop this one, net stop bits, and net stop MSI server. This will stop uh, the windows from updating. And then you have to put in these two commands and then restart with these. I'll put all of these into the video description. Do not worry. Okay, after you have done that, let's move on to step number three. Again, in command prompt, you want to type in SFC slash scan. Now, one word, hit enter. And what does this do? This will scan your entire file system for corrupt files and it will automatically uh, replace them. It is a very useful thing to do. Now, after you have done this, uh, wait for it to finish. I'm going to exit out because it's quicker. Uh, I'm going to go back into command prompt. And you want to type in DISM slash online slash clean up space uh, clean, sorry, clean up image space slash restore health. And what this does, I'm going to cancel it, but this will basically uh, restart your computer and check for updates. I don't want to restart my computer right now, obviously. Now, okay, if you have done all that and the error still persists, I would recommend going to the Microsoft website and simply searching for the update file. Uh, search for the newest update. And uh, next, I would check if you're running the correct .NET framework. This can sometimes be related to a missing or corrupted .NET framework file, often version 3.5. Okay, let's check that. Go to control panel. Go to programs. From here, programs and features. And from here, you want to turn uh, Windows features on or off. And you want to make sure here that .NET Framework 3.5 or the required version is enabled. This takes a little bit of time to do. Okay, once it has loaded, you can see right here, okay, Windows uh, .NET 3.5 is uh, enabled and it is uh, here and it is, uh, it is all good. Okay. Um, now, if you do not have it here, I would recommend Googling the .NET Framework 3.5 and downloading it. And that is it. This should have fixed the issue. If it did, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Have a nice day.